Hi, I'm Mahabed Hello. from the American University in Cairo. Hi, Doesn't... I'm Jasmina Najjar from the American University of Beirut. And we're here demonstrating some things that you can do with students while you wait. So what you just saw now is that I was sharing uh, on YouTube uh, some music just as people come in and Jasmina was like singing along to it. Uh, I, on Zoom, this is quite easy. You just share the screen and you just share the computer sound. Remember to do that and optimize screen sharing for video clip. And then that allows people to, to listen to whatever it is you're listening. When, I, when I'm face to face in class, I usually go to class a few minutes early and I play some music. Uh, but not too loud so that if students come in and they want to talk to you they can still talk to you but sometimes having the music there is is one of the ways to get a conversation going uh, so i like doing that jasmina you were telling me earlier what you do usually with students before class begins yeah so my my students know that i'm a film and series geek i'm a fanatic it's like my obsession so i always tell them you know if you want to talk about you know series films what you're watching on netflix you know come to class a few minutes early and we can exchange recommendations we can talk about the latest seasons of whatever we're watching so it's actually quite fun and lots of students show up surprisingly they're like yeah this is cool so Right, especially with the pandemic, everyone wants some good Netflix recommendations and things like that. <laughs> the other thing that I've done uh, with students, and some of them really like it, some of them don't, but you know, it's nice to do different things so that you meet different people's needs, is you can share your screen and put up something that's like uh, a picture like this one, and people can start coloring together, which is quite relaxing. Some people are saying this is really helpful during the pandemic. And so on Zoom, you would, put up this as a screen share and then you would use annotate and then with the annotation you can choose different colors and you can start coloring different things um, like and, i am now like a little kid yeah it feels nice right yeah i like it yeah and my daughter sometimes like if my class is starting and she's awake she'll start coloring with me and then students will come and do it. And you can talk while you do it. So it has the advantage, like unlike with music, it's a little bit hard to talk over the music. You can, but with the coloring, it's just a relaxing thing to do while we wait. Nobody's videos on, right? It's just the screen and, and you're just coloring. And, and if someone doesn't want to color, it's probably not going to bother them too much. And at the same time, you're sort of teaching them the annotation tool so that if you need to use it later in class, uh, it becomes easy. And then I have some people who sometimes just go around and put stamps with hearts all over the, <laughs> all over the picture. Um, yeah, I'm going to add stars. Yeah. Yeah, it's looking good. This is nice. <laughs> it brings out your inner two-year-old. Yeah, <laughs> which is, I mean, being two is nice. It's a good like, thing. Like, you don't remember what it was like, but when you look at two-year-olds, you wish you were two sometimes. Because at the age of two, you have enough freedom to move and do what you want, but you don't have responsibility where someone is going <laughs> to tell you off for doing the wrong thing. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to, so you could save these and share them with the class, like you can do a different one each time, uh, but I'm going to just clear the drawings right now. And obviously sometimes, uh, uh, you know, sometimes you're just, you don't have a lot of time between meetings to do that. But if you're there like five minutes early, sometimes I just tell people, let's just stretch. If you've got lots of things going on. Remember to roll your shoulders, move your neck around, uh, move your legs around. I, I once saw someone who talked about how when you smile too much on Zoom, that, that becomes a strain on your face. So even massaging your face. And I saw a theater professor say, yes, brown, and then smile. And then just moving your face around, you realize that you've been straining to smile all day because you're looking at your camera all the time and feeling like you have to smile. And so you need to sort of also change that up a little bit. Okay, I think, I, do you wanna add anything else before I talk? Okay, so these are just some things to do as you wait.